okay so guys let's look at respiration in insects okay by answering this question here and the question reads figure 3.1 shows part of the respiratory system of an insect okay and the diagram is very clear there there is the structure e carbon dioxide out oxygen in and part d there the first question which is question a they are asked to identify the parts labeled D and E. The parts labeled D and E. So, the answers are... So, part D is C, the spiracle. Okay? The spiracle. And then part E, these are muscle cells. Okay? These are muscle, muscle cells. Okay, another another question is saying is saying which is question B. Explain how oxygen from the atmosphere is able to reach the tissue labeled E, which are muscle cells. Okay, so oxygen you can say oxygen. Uh, oxygen enters. Enters through the spiracles enters through the spiracles okay which which connect to which connect to the trachea okay which is connected to the trachea Oxygen enters through the spiracles, which is connected to the trachea. And the trachea, this trachea branches. Okay. Trachea branches. Branches into smaller tubes. Okay. Many tubes called tracheo okay now these tracheos they eventually they eventually reach so the tracheo which eventually reaches the um, tissue cells or tissues all right okay question c explain how the energy released from respiration in an insect is used explain how the energy released from respiration in an insect is used okay so now the energy can say the energy released from or in the uh, in an insect is used for Okay, is used for movement, movement of the abdomen, movement of the abdomen and wings during during the process of respiration okay during the process of what of respiration okay it is also used for 
flying flying and ground movements flying and ground what ground movements move movements okay ground movements and also eating energy is also used for uh, eating last question but not the least which is question d and the respiration respiratory system of an insect they're saying state two ways in which the respiratory system shown differs from that of a fish now this is simple two ways so number one you can say in insect in insects air enters through the spiracle okay through the spiracles in insects wow in fish okay wow in fish it enters through through gills simple as this guys so air enters through the spiracle in in in, in insects then in fish it enters through the gills all right number two secondly say so in insects in insects gaseous exchange gaseous exchange in insects gaseous exchange occurs across uh, across across the walls of the tracheas okay while in fish while in fish gaseous exchange gaseous exchange occurs across occurs across the surface occurs across the surface of the gills across the surface of the gills okay across the surface of of the gills that's what to this question guys so go through uh the, the the solutions okay if it's possible write down